What's up everybody, Tatan Sulita here with ABC Store. And today we're gonna to do a comparison between the 5D Mark IV and the EOS R. Both of them cameras with the 24 105 millimeter lens and see how do they perform side by side. So let's get started. Now, the whole meaning of this video is not to tell you if Canon is better camera than Sony or Nikon is better camera than Sony. It's been done. A lot of people have been doing all this stuff all together and that is not why I'm doing this video. This video is to throw some light for those who are Canon users who are thinking about either changing to full frame cameras and see if they should buy a 5D Mark IV or they should go for the EOS R. Now, to make it fair, I set both cameras the same way. Same shutter speed, same aperture, same focal length, same ISO. So everything was exactly the same if you want to call it somewhere. So I started out my test shooting on my backyard and I got this wooden wall that I wanted to see the texture of it to see how much detail and sharpness both cameras can get. This case, the EOS R1 on sharpness and detail. I tried to do this test yesterday, last night, and I thought that my lens was out of focus at some point. So I did recalibrate it this morning and still I can see much more detail on the EOS R that I can see on the 5D. This was outside with natural light. So I went back inside and I pulled out my DGB, which has a continuous light, and I place it on this little model that you use for painting to see and have control light and see how the sharpness of the image was. EOS R still won over the 5D Mark IV. I shot a couple of images. Ones were shot at 70 millimeters. The other one was shot at 105. Then I did a different test at F4 and F16. I cranked up the ISO on both cameras and still EOS R was more sharp than the 5D. Another thing that I did test was putting an 85 millimeter f1.8 lens, which is an old lens that I love and I have on the EOS R. I had the adapter, I plugged it in, I took a picture and it looks perfect. It works perfect, it focused super fast. The glass that's inside the 85, I don't think is as good as the one that comes in the 24105 native from the EOS R. In fact, I don't think the 24105 from a 5D has as good glass as the one that comes from the EOS R. And I think that's where the 5D lacks in sharpness. I know Canon has been doing an amazing job with the new lenses. That type of quality on those lenses are outstanding. And I think that's that's where the sharpness of the camera comes out from. Not only from the system, but obviously from the lens. Now, another huge difference that I saw between the EOS R and the 5D Mark IV is that the EOS R is a lot cooler in color tones. And what I mean a lot cooler is they're like 1200 Kelvin degrees cooler than the 5D Mark IV. I was checking out the color balance and I can show it in this image and they're both placed on daylight white balance, and you can see the difference between the 5D and the EOS R. Another point that I found, and this one is in favor of 5D Mark IV, is that the 5D has more dynamic range. I could tell it's almost like a third or two thirds of a stop in dynamic range, but still, that extra punch of light gives the 5D Mark IV a little bit more advantage. The last test that I did was cranking up ISO, and I cranked it like super, super bad. I had a couple of pictures that I took at, at 1600 ISO and you can barely see the noise. You should have to, you know, like crank up the shadows and try to see how much uh, noise is in the blacks. But you can barely see it at a regular, you know, at a regular distance. And once you crank it to 25600, then you can see really, really nasty noise. But I don't think you're going to be cranking it that much. So overall, guys, EOS R wins in sharpness. I want to say it's because of the lens and obviously because of the focusing system that the EOS R has. I love the grip. I love the size. I love the weight. I still love my 5D Mark IV, but I will definitely get an EOS R as a secondary camera to do, for example, first journalism. The 5D is a big, it's a big camera. So once you pull it out, people will start freaking out. The EOS R is a little bit smaller, not that much smaller, but it's a little bit smaller. So it's probably easier to carry around and, and you know, hide it from people and, and be a little more discreet when you use it outside. So there you have it, guys. I hope this small video will help you out to get some light in towards if you want to buy the 5D Mark IV or the EOS R. Both are outstanding cameras. They do perform super well. 
Uh, EOSR is the first version. Probably in the next version, they'll come with something new. A lot of users are going to be waiting for something probably like the IBIS system or, I don't know, more megapixels. They're going to be wanting another memory card slot because this only has one. You know, little things that will make your life a little bit easier, but it's not going to make you a better photographer. As always, if you like this video, please share, please like, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, press the bell so you can get notifications every time we upload a new video, and I will see you on the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and you all have a very, very good day.